Great Coasters International, otherwise known as GCI, is a wood coaster manufacturer based in Pennsylvania. They got their start in 1994 and they claim to make the smoothest, most twisted, and highest quality wooden roller coasters in the world. And they have a pretty impressive track record, so you can definitely make an argument for that. As of when this video is being made, they have 27 operating wooden roller coasters around the world and several others under construction. I've had the opportunity to experience many of these around the world, and so in this video, I'm going to be ranking my 10 favorites that I have experienced. Now, full disclaimer, this this is a video that I hope to one day update after I've experienced some of their wind roller coasters in China. Because rides like Python and Bamboo Forest and Wood Coaster at Night Valley just look absolutely insane and probably some of the best wind coasters ever created. But there's still a bunch of great woodies around the US and Europe that I have experienced, so let's see how they stack up. At number 10, we have Apocalypse at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Opening in 2009, this ride originally made its debut as Terminator Salvation. It's located in the back left corner of the park, is just under 100 feet tall, and as you'll see with most wind roller coasters on this list, features a very twisted layout, so it's a variety of bank turns and airtime moments. Now, the inherent flaw in doing a list like this is that depending on when you experience some of these rides, your opinion of them might be drastically different. For example, when I first rode Apocalypse, I didn't think it was all that great. If I was just based enough of that version, it probably wouldn't have made the top 10. A couple years ago, before the pandemic, Magic Mountain did a whole retracking of the coaster, and I loved it. I rode it five times in a row without getting off. I said that's one of my favorite roller coasters in the park. If we were basing off of that version, this ride would be significantly higher. And then, as of my most recent visit, it wasn't quite as bad as when I first experienced it, however, it was nowhere near as good as shortly after it was retracked. And this is not the only ride that's going to suffer from that issue. One ride that absolutely deserves to be a lot higher, but I have coming in at the number 9 spot is Renegade at Valley Fair. This ride made its debut in 2007 is known for its especially twisted first drop. Definitely one of the best on any GCI. This was the last roller coaster to open at Valley Fair, which is crazy because now it's over 15 years old. However, despite its ride experience being rougher than it should, this ride still holds up as the best roller coaster at Valley Fair. It's a pretty well paced ride, as are most of the roller coasters on this list. I think I enjoy the second half more so than the first, but I will say, due to its location in the back of the park, Renegade ends up being an awesome night ride. It gets dark back there. Let's head to Hershey, Pennsylvania for Lightning Racer at Hershey Park. Now, out of all the roller coasters on this list, this is easily the most unique. It's a dueling coaster, two separate tracks that intertwine with each other, perfectly timed to feature many different crossovers, racing moments, and depending on how each side is cycling, you could get a different winner every single time. It's a really fun, visually impressive experience, though when you break it down by individual layouts, they're definitely on the weaker side, but because they're so intertwined with each other you can't help but love it this is one of my favorite rides to do at hershey park Taking the number 7 spot is our first international coaster to make the cut. This is Wicker Man at Alton Towers. Out of the rides on this list, this is easily going to be the tamest. It was designed to be a family thrill coaster. It's only 72 feet tall, less than 45 miles per hour, but the layout is so creative and cool, plus it is just so elaborately themed. Easily the best themed one coaster in the world. You have this amazing Wicker Man statue, there's a pre-show, smoke, fire effects. Alton Towers went above and beyond with this attraction. Don't let this ride size fool you. But let's head from England to Germany for Woden Timber Coaster at Europa Park. This is one of the larger GCI standing at a height of 131 feet, 62 miles per hour. This is currently my favorite roller coaster at Europa Park, although I am curious to see which one I like more, this or Voltron after I experienced that one. Is this huge structure in the back of the park, also a really well-themed wind roller coaster. Some great twister sections interacting with blue fire, passing under pathways, shooting you up into airtime hills. The only downside is sometimes I felt that Woden can be a shorter ride, which is ironic because it has almost 3,500 feet of track, but I think you go through it at such a fast pace, sometimes you almost wish that there was a couple more elements. But it's still such a quality attraction, Europa Park does a great job taking care of it. So let's get into our top five, starting with Northern California's Gold Striker. This is a 2013 ride from California's Great America. When I first rode this, I said this was my favorite GCI I had experienced. Unfortunately though, out of all the rides on this list, this is the one that I've gone the longest period of time without experiencing, so I have no idea how it's currently running. I'm just basing this off of my most recent rides, which were in 2018. Yeah, it was never the smoothest GCI, there's certainly ones that run better than this, but I just loved the layout, I loved all the different tunnels. As an enclosed first drop, which is super cool, they actually did it for noise, but it totally works for the ride experience. Taking the number 4 spot is Thunderhead at Dollywood. Now here's what's interesting about this one. For the longest time, this ride never stood out in my mind as 
one of my favorite GCIs. It was always good, but never amazing. But over the past couple of years, Dollywood and GCI have come in and done a complete retracking on Thunderhead and it is running good as new. When I say that this ride feels like a completely different roller coaster than how it was five or so years ago, I mean it. I was so floored with how this ride was cycling. Not only is it as smooth as glass, but it feels like it's running faster. My guess is it has something to do with the type of wood they use. It's called Ipe. It's a Brazilian wood that's much more durable, lasts longer, though it is more expensive, so I think that's why a lot of parks don't go for it. But when you use that on your top layer of the wood stack, it helps the thing ride smooth and stay smooth. Makes maintaining it a heck of a lot easier. I love Dollywood for keeping up with this thing. This ride gets better and better the more I ride it. So now we're in our top three. At the number three spot, we have Texas Stingray at SeaWorld San Antonio. And as of when this video is being made, I recently got back from SeaWorld San Antonio after I hadn't ridden Texas Stingray in several years, ever since it opened, and I was just blown away at how good this thing was running. Better than I remembered. Not only was it still extremely smooth, I believe they also use Ipe on this ride, but the pace Pacing is just unreal. This ride does not peak in the beginning. It gets better and better as you go along. You start off with some large fan turns and then you just progressively get lower and lower to the ground. Ejector hill, bank turn, twist to the side, ejector hill. It was running like a dream. I believe of the three SeaWorld parks in the US, this is the best roller coaster out of any of them. And at the number two spot, we have another ride that was way better than I remembered. It's Prowler at Worlds of Fun. This ride debuted in 2009, but the way it's running, you wouldn't know it. Not only is it still incredibly smooth, but the layout is just relentless. This is a largely out and back attraction, which is actually a big difference between this coaster and most of the other ones we've talked about, which are all twister coasters. This one stays largely low to the ground, flying through the woods. It uses the terrain to its advantage. You go so far back there, if you get the chance to experience this ride at night, it is world class. Each of these hills shoot you up out of your seat. You're like so disoriented, you don't know which way you're going next. I couldn't believe how good this thing was. And the only reason it's not taking the number one spot is because Mystic Timbers exists at Kings Island. Why is this number one? Well, you see, Mystic Timbers is pretty much just a better version of Prowler. It's a little bit taller, it's a little bit faster, it's a little bit longer, but same idea. Also, an out and back layout through the woods, using the terrain, passing over a water ride right next to the train, through a tunnel. It made its debut in 2017 and still runs like it opened yesterday. I believe also thanks to Ipe and good maintenance teams. I could ride this thing all day. It is one of my favorite wind roller coasters on the planet. Planet. The pacing is out of this world. Each of those hills shoots you up out of your seat. You're just getting tossed around side to side. It is pure fun. What an incredible attraction that you gotta do when visiting Kings Island. But those are my 10 favorite GCIs that I have experienced. So let's talk about a couple honorable mentions. Troy at Toverland, a ride that I really enjoyed when I first experienced it and probably would have made this list. But last time I rode it, it was just running too rough. This is one that I would love to see receive a full retracking. I think that it really needs it. Yoris Androck is another racing GCI coaster. Not quite as good as Lightning Racer. This one is at the Efteling in the Netherlands. Still fun, but not quite as well paced. Zambezi Zinger is the new wind roller coaster at Worlds of Fun. Like Wicker Man, this is another like tamer wind coaster. It's really unique with the spiral lift hill and I like how low to the ground it stays. And then I gotta shout out Ghost Rider and Knott's Berry Farm. Although the reason that this didn't make the cut is not because it's not good enough. Actually, it's one of my favorite wind coasters on the planet. I excluded because this was manufactured by CCI, redone by GCI. It rides like a GCI on a CCI layout. So because it's not a true ride from this manufacturer, I didn't feel right including it, but you should still absolutely go out and experience it. Well, I wanna hear from you guys down in the comments below. What are some of your favorite roller coasters that you've experienced by Great Coasters International? Let me know if you agree with this list, if you think there's anything I left out, and of course, stay tuned for more here at Coaster Studios, and I'll see you next time.